Hi, Jersey Green family. I am back with another tag video. It has been a long time since I did one of these and I know it. I'm not doing them as much as I used to, but I just had to just do this one. This is the Fall Tag 2023. But anyway, there are 25 questions that I have for you guys. And if you are interested in doing this tag, just feel free. I'm not gonna tag anybody specific. I will have all of the questions listed in the description box. So 25 questions, I better get started now. Number one, favorite fall tradition. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite, but I like going to the movies, especially during this time because the, the weather is cooler. I love making hot chocolate, you know, things like that. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, and decorating. I mean, I decorate all year round anyway. It is easier to breathe. You're not hot and agitated and sweaty and I got my fan over here anyway, so just in case, you know, it's not cold quite yet, so I have this fan over anyway, here. Anyway, number two, wool socks or slippers? Ooh, I love both of them. I love me a nice thick wool sock. I wear it all year round anyway, but especially for the COVID months like fall and winter and slippers as well. I love those cozy thick ones. You know, when you slip your feet in, you just have all this nice warmth. Oh, I just love it. Number, number three, sweater or scarf? You know, I like both. Sometimes I will wear a sweater. It depends on how thick it is because I sweat easily. I get overheated. I may not do a lot of sweating, but my face will start getting wet. And you know, having on a hot sweater sometimes it's just not gonna work. <laughs> a hot flash comes or something comes over me and I just have to get cool. So during those times, I would probably prefer a scarf because a scarf is very light. I mean, it's lighter than the sweaters anyway. So, and I try not to go for the hottest scarves. I do have some real pretty ones for the fall. So, and those are easier to take off than a hot sweater. Favorite Thanksgiving food? Ooh, my famous, and I'm not gonna say it's famous, but I love making macaroni and cheese. That is my favorite fall food uh, and sweet potato pie. I mean, those are my, oh, dressing. Can't forget about the dressing. Yes, indeed. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. Number five, favorite fall childhood memory. Well, when we all lived with my grandmother, I have said this many times in her big mansion, all of us was living there. Cousins, aunts, just everybody. And it was just a whole house of love, warmth, lots of, I mean, lots of food. My great grandmother would make like 14 pies and cakes. And we just had a full feast of food. I mean, music, fireplace going, it was just, we had so many uh, games that we would play. If it was really, really cold, we played card games, board games, hide and go seek. I mean, the, the adults would have all the different drinks, you know, their alcohol, and we would have our apple cider, um, yeah, apple cider and all the other nice, wonderful drinks, cranberry drinks. My grandmother really did it up for the holidays. I mean, all holidays, but especially fall and Christmas. Number six, do you favor Halloween or Thanksgiving? Well, no, I don't celebrate Halloween and I don't even look at Halloween videos because Halloween to me is demonic, it's of the devil. So I don't deal with Halloween. I used to back in the day. Um, I guess I didn't know any better. Uh, so it would have to be Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is about giving thanks. You know, a number seven favorite fall drink. Well, I'm gonna say coffee because I drink coffee all year round and I love coffee, um, especially when it's cold like the fall because you can enjoy it better, you're not gonna be sweating. Um, let me see. Um, 
I haven't tasted that many fall drinks. You know, like the lattes that everybody talks about of Starbucks. I have never really tried those. And I wanna try them, but I'm afraid because what if I don't like it? I don't wanna spend my money and just waste it. But I'm gonna have to try one of their uh, lattes. I hear a lot about the pumpkin spice. And I don't know if I'm gonna like pumpkin spice, so I don't know. I've tried pumpkin spice coffee creamer and mm, it's not really my cup of tea. I guess you really have to have a, a love for, for pumpkin. And I don't quite like that taste. And I, I'm upset about it because I want to like it. But it's just, I just can't seem to get get it going. So <laughs> I just have to stay with what I like best. Coffee. Favorite fall scent. Well, if you're talking about, I don't know if you're talking about perfume or candle. So I'll just go with candle. I love the baked apple pie scent of a candle which I have burning right now and a uh, sweet potato scent mmm because you, you smell the nice cinnamon and the sugar oh it's just so good yum yum apple or pumpkin pie well I don't like either one of those but if I have to choose it'll be apple uh, for me the apples would have to be kind of like um, very very small very very like mashed kind of like mashed I don't like the, the um, I don't like to chew into it bite into it like in the pieces you know chewing the pieces of apple I don't really like that about apple pie so that's not really the way I would eat it but it would have to be more of a mashed apple for me and I think I would love it pumpkin pie I tried it actually I made one and some people said it was very good, but you have to really like the taste of pumpkin, and I don't, so apple is it. Number 10, favorite thing about fall? Well, the most important thing is the weather gets cooler. Woo, yes. The weather gets cooler, and you bring out the scarves, the sweaters, and the different colors of fall the leaves dropping. I mean, it's just, and I wear my hats. I love it. That's what I like about fall. Love it. Go apple picking or go on a hayride? Well, I've never gone on a hayride. I don't know what that's like, but it might be fun. I don't know. So I would have to say apple picking because I love apples. And I think that would be so much fun going to pick apples. And if my grandmother was still alive, she would love to do that. I would love to take her apple picking. 12. Have you purchased any fall decor yet? Um, very few pieces. I am not going to be buying a whole lot of fall decor this year, you guys. I have tons of it still in my garage. And I'm going to go through and just use what I have. But there will be a few little pieces that, you know, I'm going to buy and specifically Dollar Tree because those are most affordable and they have some new stuff out that uh, there's a few things I want and I'm also going to get some more um, fall hand towels not I'm not going to get the hand towels from them I want to go probably to another store and buy some nice fall hand towels because they're just so pretty in the kitchen Okay, 13, fall color to wear in the fall. I guess they mean favorite color to wear in the fall. Well, I'm wearing it. My burnt orange with the different colors, the, the, the uh, burgundies, the green, uh, brown, tan, white. I mean, I just love them all. So burnt orange would prob probably be it. 14, favorite fall sweets. Sweet potato pie. That is my number one favorite. Sweet potato pie. Ooh. Favorite fall candle. I don't know of too many favorite uh, that I like, but I do like the baked apple pie, like I mentioned earlier that I am currently burning now. I like that because that scent is, is very nice. It just speaks fall. I love apples. I love the way they smell and it's not too strong because I deal with allergies and I can't take too many 
sense of anything really and it's sometimes it's depressing because I like certain things and I can't really take it because it bothers me even going in the stores and the aisles when they have all these fumes and I have to like oh I just can't take it favorite lip color um well I'm wearing it kind of like a, a burgundy-ish wine-ish color what I'm wearing now I think that's my favorite I think it looks good on my complexion um, anything in the darker, um, cranberry color, you know, somewhat of what I'm wearing, I kind of like that better. And sometimes I like the goldish, uh, color, cream color colors, you know, for the lips. So it just depends on what my mood is and what I'm wearing that day, but pretty much this color. Okay. Let me take a sip of water before we start again because uh, throat is getting dry. Okay, number 17. Favorite fall clothing items? Um, I don't have any favorite fall. I try not to dress too hot, because like I say, I get overheated quickly, so I can't really wear too much of these big coats and stuff like that. And you know, I live in California. We don't need all of that as much as some of the other states. Um, probably a sweater, a nice thin sweater, not too thick. So sweater. 18, have you turned on your heater yet? Not yet. Well, I'm filming this in the late August right now. So it's not cold here yet. So but not yet. Football, yay or nay? I would say yay. Hubby likes football and I like it as long as they're doing touchdowns and if they're not, forget it. But <laughs> So I guess that answers the question. I'm still saying yay because I do like it. I like all that running that they do. And it's just, it's an exciting game. Number 20. Uh, best way to spend a rainy day. And do I have to tell you that? The best way to spend a rainy day, if you're married, is in the bed with your husband. And you do husband and wife adult activities. So, <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> you got your heater on. You got your nice movie. You have your favorite a uh, glass of whatever you want to drink, whether it's water, champagne, whatever it is. And you got your cozy bed and your blanket and your lover right there beside you. And that's it. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Number 21. Is it, oh, is it easier or harder to lose weight, oh my goodness, in the fall? Well, 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 it's hard to lose weight any time of the season for me, but I would have to say for the holidays, it's especially harder. Um, yes, starting in the fall, yes. So I'm gonna answer yes to that. Yeah, because this, you have more food around you. You know, all the tasty treats they have in the stores and you'd be wanting to pick it up and taste it or if you want to bake and then Thanksgiving coming. Yeah, I have to say fall, fall. What are you most excited for this fall? Well, I've said that pretty much earlier, the cooler temperatures. That's probably, yeah, the cooler temperatures, yeah. That's one of them. And the colors, the different colors of the leaves, which I love when they drop. They're just so beautiful. Fall colors are the most beautiful colors ever. They really are. I just love it. That's why I love fall so much. Number 23, do you switch your closet out for fall? No, I do not. I mean, come on now. That's a lot of work. I just, what I try to do, what I try to do, I try to categorize my clothes, you know, like for instance, the winter things, you're gonna put your coats and things together along with the fall next to it. And then on the other side, I try to keep my, my spring and summer clothes, you know, my lighter colors 
close together, you know, on the other side. So I try to do it that way, but I don't really, I don't switch out anything. I don't have time for all that. I mean, I just need to go in there and get what I need, bring it out and then go. <laughs> okay, we have two more questions and we're done. What is your favorite bag to break out in the fall? that you haven't been carrying in the summer. Well, I've got three of them to share with you. You might have seen them. I love this one right here. This is my, what I call the cranberry purse <laughs> because it's, it, they look like cranberry. It looks like cranberry. Cranberry color with the gold, which is beautiful. Oops. So this is what I love, so pretty. That's the handle right there. So, my cranberry purse. Then, my olive green one. This is so beautiful. I love these colors. This has a longer strap to it with the zipper. Like that. So, I like that. Love that. It reminds me of olives. And last but not least, I do have another one, but I didn't bring it out. Um, but these are pretty much my favorite, and I'm dropping my water bottle on the floor. My Michael Kors bag, because you can put so much in here. Love it, with the gold. And the straps, pretty, pretty, pretty. You store so much in this bag, you really can. So. Those are my favorite um, bags for the fall. Now, last but not least, this is for coffee drinkers. And if you're not, you can answer this if you're a tea drinker. How do you take your coffee? I love this question. How do I take my coffee? I like my coffee very hot, okay? I have a pet peeve about having lukewarm coffee. I can't stand it. It's got to be hot. <laughs> I don't mean warm hot, 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 steam hot, okay? Scorching tongue hot. <laughs> and I like to put hazelnut coffee creamer in my coffee. So that's pretty much how I like it. And I like it to be um, a little bit darker than my face but not too dark, kind of like in the middle, a, a light caramel, not too dark, not too mocha color, you know, like a medium color. That's how I like it. I don't put sugar in it because the creamer already has sugar in it, um, unless you get those other ones that are um, non-dairy with no sugar. So that's how I like my coffee. And when it does not get hot enough, I have to keep heating it up and heating it up. And oh, by the way, if you guys know of any um, coffee mug warmer or a place where I can get one that really, really, really gets it hot, I mean hot, where it has a variation of temperatures where you can turn to it and get it the temperature that you want, please let me know down in the comment section. I would love to know because for years I've been looking for one and I've tried a few and they just weren't they weren't getting the coffee hot enough. They said it did, but no, not for me. <laughs> My husband said, dang, do you want to burn your tongue? No, I just, I want to be able to put my mug on the coffee, um, on the warmer and keep it there if you can, you know, so I can keep it hot. Because I like for every sip to be hot, not to be getting lukewarm. And I can't stand cold coffee. You know, like some of you who drink iced coffee you know i've been wanting to try that but i know i'm not gonna like it i know it because i can't stand my coffee getting cold and with ice <sighs> but anyway if you like that good for you i just I, my coffee just has to be hot okay I'm enough said about that because i can go on and on about coffee but anywho this was so much fun i just love doing tags like I said, I will have all the questions listed down in the description box. So please guys, let's have a little fall fun, okay? It's just a cute little activity activity to do. So let's go ahead and do these tags, okay? 
So anyway, if you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. My name is Liz. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you like what you see. I have more content that I do, home decor, I do vlogs, I do hauls, and things like that. And if you're a returning subscriber, I love you guys. Thank you so much, my Jazzy Green family. You all take care. Thanks so much for watching. Be blessed, and I will see you next time in my next video. Bye.